When a massive star comes to the end of its life, it doesn't go out with a whimper, rather it explodes in majestic fashion, in what we call a supernova. This is one of the most energetic events that we know of. At its peak brightness, a powerful supernova can be as luminous as an entire galaxy. This luminosity doesn't last long, as the energy is expended in a short space of time, perhaps lasting only a couple of days at most. On an astronomical timescale, that is just a heartbeat. So, how often do supernovae occur? There's certainly never been one mentioned in the media recently, right? Well, let's wait together for the next supernova to occur somewhere in the universe. Start the clock now. And stop. Only one second. As you can see, supernovae are pretty common, but they aren't all that easy to spot. For one, they have to occur somewhere in the observable universe, and be close enough that we can see them and notice them. But in just the astronomically short space of time that humans have been able to observe other galaxies, we have seen tens of supernovae directly. This image of galaxy NGC 4526 captured by Hubble in 1994, shows a supernova on the outskirts during its peak brightness. Astonishingly, it is so bright, in this image it appears to be a star in our galaxy. But being in another galaxy means even though it was this bright, only strong telescopes were able to observe it. But what about naked eye supernova events? How often do they occur? And what would they look like? Well, it depends on the distance to us. The most recent naked eye supernova event was SN 1987A, a supernova that occurred in the Large Magellanic Cloud in 1987. This is the only supernova that's been observed up close in our local group of galaxies, as the Large Magellanic Cloud is a satellite galaxy to our own Milky Way at only 160,000 light years away. At this supernova's peak brightness, it reached an apparent magnitude of 3, meaning that although it was visible to the naked eye, it would have only appeared like another star in the night sky. However, this event was of particular interest to scientists, as they had had the Large Magellanic Cloud mapped out, meaning they could pinpoint the exact star that exploded and view the before and after shots. And the after shots are spectacular. This is the remnants of the star. This ring around it is the stellar material ejected by the star 20,000 years before the explosion. And as the shock wave from the supernova expands, you can see it impact the ring, lighting it up through ionization. But with an apparent magnitude of 3, it's not super impressive for those of us wanting to look up and see something fantastic in the night sky. The previous naked eye supernova occurred in 1604, known as Kepler's supernova. Occurring only 20,000 light years away, it had an apparent magnitude of minus 2.5. Much brighter than any other star in the night sky, and even visible during the day. This brightness lasted a couple of weeks. We can now observe the remnants of this supernova using modern day telescopes. But perhaps the brightest supernova in recorded history was in 1006, with an apparent magnitude of minus 7.5, meaning it was 16 times brighter than Venus, clearly visible during the day. Thanks to the historical records of early astronomers, we can pinpoint this supernova's remnant too. But even supernova 1006, the brightest supernova on record, was still 7,500 light years away. Are there any stars even closer than that that might erupt in a supernova soon? And if so, what would it be like? As it happens, there are 12 stars that are approaching the end of their lives that would erupt in a supernova less than 3,000 light years away from us. This is the list of them. One of them, one of the most famous stars in our night sky, is Betelgeuse. Found in the Orion constellation, on Orion's shoulder, this star is distinctively reddish in colour. This is because it is a red supergiant, 
which is really near the end of its life. We don't know for sure when any supernova will occur, as we haven't observed any close enough to look out for telltale signs, but it is expected that Betelgeuse could go at any moment really, although it could also still take tens of thousands of years. It is only a few hundred light years away from us, and it is estimated that it would appear brighter than a full moon when it finally erupts in a supernova. But don't fret, even at this distance it is expected that no real harm would come to life on Earth. A supernova would have to occur within 50 light years of us for any harm to befall us, and we just don't see any eligible candidates for that right now. Although, it should be noted that a certain type of supernova can also occur with white dwarfs. If a lot of mass gets fed into these tiny, dense stars by other nearby stars, this could trigger a supernova. Because of their tiny and dim nature, we don't have a good understanding of how many there are out there. It is thought that there could be a few hundred of them within 50 light years from us that we don't know about. We do seem to be overdue for a supernova somewhere in the galaxy though. Supernovae are believed to occur every 50 years on average in the Milky Way, yet we haven't seen one with modern telescopes yet. And you can be sure that when it finally does happen, that everything about it will be observed for years to come. Thanks for watching. I really enjoy making these videos and hope you get something from them too. And thank you to my patrons and members who support the channel. A big shout out this time to Winston Sanks, who donated over $50. If you would like to support too, find the links here and in the description. I will begin to have polls for supporters to help me decide the next Astrum answers in the not too distant future as an added perk. If you would like to help in other ways, sharing and liking the video goes a long way too. All the best and see you next time.